Audio Hub. Audio Hub. Dimension of physical quantities. Dimension is used to refer to physical nature of a quantity and the type of unit used to specify it. Dimension for mass, square bracket M. Symbol, capital M, unit, kilogram, kg. Dimension for length, square bracket L. Symbol, capital L, unit, meter, M. Dimension for time, square bracket T. Symbol, capital T, unit, second, S. Dimension for electric current, square bracket I. Symbol, A, unit, ampere, A. Dimension for temperature, square bracket T. Symbol, theta, unit, Kelvin, K. Dimension for amount of substance, square bracket N. Symbol, capital N, unit, mole. We look for the explanation for dimensions. For information, dimension cancel just like algebraic quantities. Numerical factors have no dimension, so they can be ignored. And lastly, dimension can be added or subtracted. Determine dimension and SI unit. I will show you one example on how to determine dimension and SI unit. Example, velocity V. Equation for velocity V is change in displacement divided by time interval S over T. So, dimension for velocity will be square bracket V equivalent to square bracket S divided by square bracket T. Symbol for dimension for S will be length. And then dimension for time symbol is t. So finally, dimension for velocity will be l t power of negative one, and SI unit for velocity will be meter per second. Now let's continue to another subtopic, scalar quantity. So what is scalar quantity? Scalar quantity is defined as a quantity with magnitude only. So refer to the diagram given. When we do measure diameter or length of an object, we just determine the distance from one position to another position. It has magnitude only. It has no direction at all. So this quantity is considered as a scalar quantity. You also can refer a few examples given in this page. Next, vector quantity. Vector quantity is defined as a quantity with both magnitude and direction. So when you push an object, you apply some certain magnitude of force towards some certain direction. So it has both magnitude and direction. When it has both magnitude and direction, so this quantity we consider as a vector quantity. Illustrate unit vector x, y, z in Cartesian coordinate. I give you one vector, let's say vector a equivalent to 4i plus 4j plus 4k. So what is mean by i, j and k? Unit vector i represent that this value is directed in x direction. Unit vector j directed in y direction and unit vector k directed in z direction so i will be in x direction j in y and k in z so how i'm going to transfer this vector into cartesian coordinate so next transfer the coordinate so 4 4 and also 4 so next create the plane Y explain, Z explain, Z Y plain. So finally, we will get the directions of vector A, which is will be directed in 
this direction. State the physical meaning of dot product. Multiplication of two vectors is not just like normal multiplication operation. Like 3 multiplied with 5 equivalent to 15. We cannot apply normal multiplication operation in vector quantity. Multiplication of one vector by a second vector so as to produce color. This multiplication we call as dot product or scalar product. One of the vector must be resolved to make sure it is parallel to another vector as to produce scalar product. So refer to the diagram. We have vector A and vector B which is separated by some certain angle theta. To make it scalar, we have to resolve B to be parallel with vector A. So the scalar product for these two vectors will be vector A dot vector B equivalent to A multiplied with the component of B parallel to A and X magnitude is given by vector A dot vector B equivalent to A B cos theta. State the physical meaning of cross product. Multiplication of one vector by a second vector so as to produce another vector, this multiplication we call as cross product or vector product. The cross product A and B is defined as a vector C that is perpendicular to both A and B, with a direction is given by the right hand rule. Vector A cross vector B equivalent to vector C, which is the direction for vector C, you can apply right-hand rule showing in the figure given, and its magnitude is given by modulus A cross B equivalent to A B sine theta. So let's continue to the second chapter, linear motion. For this chapter, I will introduce to you the difference between instantaneous velocity, average velocity, and also uniform velocity. Refer to the speedometer on the left. The reading on the meter is keep changing from one value to another value at specific time. So this one is actually indicate the instantaneous velocity of the object. Instantaneous velocity is the velocity of an object in motion at a specific point in time. It is defined as the instantaneous rate of change of displacement V equivalent to dS over dt. Average velocity. The average velocity of an, of an object is total displacement divided by total time taken. Example. If the change in displacement is 20 meter and time interval is 2 seconds, so the average velocity for the object will be V equivalent to 20 divided by 2, which is will be equivalent to 10 meter per second. Uniform velocity. A body is said to have uniform velocity if it covers equal distance in equal interval of time in the particular direction. Refer to the meter on the right. The value is 85.8 km per hour. So let's say a car is moving at 85.8 km per hour for 15 seconds. So we can say that the car moving at uniform velocity 85.8 km per hour for 15 seconds. Acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration A is defined as the instantaneous rate of change of velocity which is given by A equivalent to dV over dt. Average acceleration. Average acceleration is the rate at which velocity change. Average acceleration is the change in velocity divided by an elapsed time. For instance, if the velocity of a marble increase from 0 to 60 cm per second in 3 seconds, its average acceleration would be 20 cm per second square. Uniform or constant acceleration. 
is a type of motion in which the velocity of an object changes by an equal amount in every equal time period.